Today we're going to talk about sweets. Not sweet foods necessarily, but actually the sweet sensation in your mouth and what it does to your body. Hey there, NJRoot22.com with another low carb keto carnivore vlog. And today we're going to talk about uh, sweets. And this is my experience. This is anecdotal. It's, uh, it's nothing I read. There's no studies about it. It's about the feeling of hunger, appetite, food, and sweets in particular. Um, we don't, we've been low carb for a long time and it, it's been a, a long journey. We haven't, uh, we haven't uh, made, we're, we're not f fitness freaks. We're, we're just losing weight and, or staying steady for a very, very long time. And it's, I mean, I'm down to my last 20 pounds, basically. Uh, I'm guessing in a year I will be at my goal weight. But I had a little hiccup over the last couple weeks. I haven't gained any weight, but I have definitely been, I haven't lost any. Uh, despite it being summer and I'm a, a lot more active than I was during the winter. Uh, it's with the sweet sensation. And we, a couple weeks ago, we reviewed the uh, Rebel ice cream, which is a full fat ice cream that has pretty much uh, zero sugar and, and minimal carbs, between like five and eight grams of carbs per pint. You can eat the entire pint of ice cream and there's really no blood sugar uh, level raising at all. However, it's very sweet ice cream, sweet tasting. Um, there's uh, erythritol and monk fruit in it. And for, for what we know now, I guess science is telling us that it's this, uh, this sweetener does not raise your blood sugar level. And it, I don't think it does because you don't uh, gain weight and you're not, I don't think you can get knocked out of uh, ketosis if you are in it and you have a few scoops of uh, this uh, low carb ice cream. However, it's the, the sweet sensation in general. Now, I think my, my conclusion is that I'm never gonna, I don't want to put anything sweet in my mouth. And that includes even the low uh, glycemic index uh, fruits like strawberries, blueberries, or blackberries. Because something happens that I, I've noticed. Now, I, was, I didn't eat anything sweet, let's say for six straight months, and I felt fine every single day, even with uh, drinking alcohol. I felt fine. I'm not drinking alcohol now. This is some just iced tea. One of my favorite drinks, uh, brewed iced tea. Anyway, I didn't. I never felt peckish. I never went to the closet to snack. I, I my hunger came about slowly, and it, my, when I got satiated eating meat, I never got bloated or felt funny or. or the hunger was a non-issue. It was, it was a, a distant thought. I, I never had a problem. And since I started dabbling with this uh, low-carb ice cream, something happened to me. And it, it's specifically regarding my hunger. Uh, I find myself feeling hungry. And I think putting the sweet sensation in your mouth and in in, in eating it, triggers some sort of response in your body. Even though the, the blood may not be getting the, the sugar level, um, I think it's triggering some sort of response in my body, some hormonal response. I, I don't know, maybe somebody who is watching this does know, but I think just the sensation, my body, it tastes sweet to my tongue, so my body thinks it's sweet, obviously, if I, if I say it tastes sweet. And putting that sweetness in my mouth, I think um, made me want to eat. Like, like the last couple of days, I was snacking nonstop. I mean, they were all low carb snacks. I would, I would have a piece of cheese, I would have a strip of bacon, but I was going to the refrigerator a lot more and I was thinking about, and I felt the hunger. Uh, and I, the only correlation I can make is that I was having sweet foods. Um, and same thing with the ice cream. I, I, I kept going back for it. I'd, I'd eat a little bit and I'd want a little more and a little more. So I, I don't like that feeling because I felt almost like I, you know, compared to how I felt for let's say the last six months, I felt a little bit out of control. I didn't like that feeling. Feeling hungry sucks, honestly. Unless you, you know, you work like I, there's different kinds of hunger. Like if I bust my ass for eight hours uh, doing landscaping or whatever work I do around here, 
I, uh, the next morning I might be hungry and that's my body telling me. I can tell the difference. My body says, feed me, I need fuel, I need to re rebuild and so on. But the, the post-sweet eating hunger is way different. It, it's mindless. I, I can't explain it. And I, the only thing I can suggest is that it's the, when the sweets enter my mouth, it sends some sort of response to the body and it makes it want to eat uh, non-stop. So I have one more pint of this uh, Rebel ice cream left and I'm, I'm going to eat it and it's like my last hit as a druggie before I go into rehab. Um, I'm not going to eat anything sweet for the rest of the summer. Nothing. Nothing. And I, like I, I was at the store and I, this hunger thing made me buy some of the dark chocolate covered almonds for $2 over at TJ Maxx. And I don't like it. I it, it, I don't want to have that uh, temptation anymore. So after this pint of ice cream is gone, we're done, and we're not we're not even going to eat any fruit. Nothing sweet for for the rest of the summer. Or well, the summer hasn't started yet. Maybe in a, a week or so, the summer will start, or maybe it's summer now by the time I publish this. But the sweets do something. The sweet tastes do something to your body. Try it yourself if you've been like keto. Eat eat some of this ice this uh, zero carb ice cream or low carb ice cream. And try it. You'll you'll see. It's it changes your the chemical composition of something in your body, and and it's not good. So avoid all sweets. Mm -hmm.